Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here with more Let's Play Shining Force 3 Scenario 1. And I'm still here in Quonus Village, and I'm going to show off some things that I've done. I went ahead and bought weapons for everyone. Um, we bought a new dagger for Symbios and Julian. Um, we've got Power Spear. Um, everyone has a new weapon and an accessory now. Everyone has an accessory. Uh, Iron Bracer, because there's a... Um, I'll, I'll continue showing them off. Uh, Iron Bracer, Protect Ring, Silver Ring, and we also have the Black Ring. I've given that to Eldar so that she has, you know... I've been equipped it to her because it is cursed, and cursed items in this game can cause you to do all sorts of weird stuff. But it does give her the effect of Blaze Level 2 when used, so that gives her a little more utili uh, utilitarian uh, ability at the moment given... Um, she's kind of physically weak. Uh, steel bracers all around for most everyone. Noon, as you can see, is promoted already. Uh, wizard level 1 tells you that we should be promoted. Uh, but one of the Kianshi in the previous battle is an accessory salesman. So if you save everyone, you get a weapon, armor, and accessory salesman. So, uh, this is the first time you can buy accessories. And you can only really buy three accessories. You can buy a silver ring, you can be, uh, buy the attack up bracer or the defense up bracer, and that's really all you can buy. And I spent a ton of money because they're 2,000 gold a piece, but I wanted to to make sure everyone had something. Alright, so now that we the village is open, we can come over to this gate, and we're here at the mill. And as you can see, there's a treasure chest over there that we got to get to. So in order to get to it, you have to do that. Hit the switch and inside is brain food and for those of you paying attention I missed that um, in Balsamo Village. Alright and we're gonna use the brain food uh, who are we going to use the brain food on? Grace... Irene... Khan. Um... We're probably going to use it on... Actually, we may end up using it on... Symbios, because he's only got 11 MP. But right now, all he has is return level 1. So we'll probably use it on Grace, just to be on the safe side. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, we'll use it on Grace. You can never have too much MP with a healer. I mean, I could use it on Irene. She's only got 17 MP versus Grace's 27. And Irene can take a hit a little bit better, but, you know, Grace is going to be getting a lot of healing abilities. We want to make sure she can use them. Grace is going to be in your party the entire game, just hands down. She is this game's Sarah. Alright, so now that we've done that, we can leave Quonos Village, because um, we've got everything Quonos has to offer. So, time to bid you all a fond farewell, nice people of Quonus that I saved from being zombies. Um, I still have an old, the old ruins map, and that was the ruins from the, the last ruins that we went to when we first got Julian, I believe. So I could get rid of that, but I keep forgetting to, because I'm silly. Alright, so... We leave Quonus, and we're almost outside of Imperial territory. But even so, Baron Baron was recently annexed, so it's technically uh, Republic territory, but it's being occupied. And we look over. There's a battalion. There's another battalion, and a third battalion. 
All these are led by General Franz. I hate Franz. A, he looks ridiculous. B, he's a centaur. But he's the only centaur who seems to have human ears. Dontarius has elven ears. So he's just... Nothing seems right about him. Like, he should not be a centaur. So, he's, bought, he's brought literally an entire army to deal with a small battalion of... of people trying to flee. So, this is kind of, like, in theory, on paper, this is the hardest battle we will have to deal with. But it's never that, it's never like that in this game. Never. So, we've got our force. They're nicely organized into a, a chevron formation there. Um, we've got Mega Loaders, which are like the Brass Gunners from Shining Force 2. HP of 30, Attack of 22, Defense of 15, Agility of 9, Luck of 2. Uh, they've got the Longbows that explode. They're useless. Uh, Kaiser Guards. We've fought these guys before in other formats, so we're not too worried about them. Same with the Imperial Knights. I'm not really worried about them. The Mega Loaders are really the only new thing. And they, they have the same terrain problems that knights do. So this is a choke point for them. <laughs> These guys over here, I don't know how they would expect to get to me in a reasonable amount of time, considering this is grassland, trees, and mountains in the straight shot. Or they can come around, which is a dirt path, which they'd move a little bit faster on, but it's a longer way around. So... Yeah, not what I wanted to do. And then, last but not least, we have the main formation, which have Master Mages, which have Freeze Level 2 and Sleep Level 1. And... Friends himself. He's carrying a Silver Ring, which means you didn't really need to buy a Silver Ring uh, in the previous town. You'll get that from killing him, but never hurts to have extras. Uh, and then the same bad guys. But yeah, look at Don Terry's. Don Terry's has... He's got... El See, that's... Franz just looks weird to me. Uh, and the, the first part of this battle is ridiculously boring, because we are nowhere near any of the bad guys. And for the most part, we're moving on grassland, so it's not our best movement speed. And they're just going to sit there taking turns doing jack and shit, honestly. Like, the AI is never going to make the first push. So, we just get to stand here and wait for them to, you know, grow a pair and try to come after us. Which isn't going to happen. Ah, uh, but like with any Shining Force battle that you think you know what's going on, there's going to be a twist. Now, I don't want to spoil it, but it should happen within the next few minutes. Like everyone should get a full turn, and then. And then the twist happens. God, O'Bright's slow. He's slower than Mega Loaders? That's depressing. Apparently it's I have to reach a certain spot. And there it is. We hear the little do 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 Okay. And... Walking up, why they'd blow the horn, it's, it doesn't make any sense. General Spiriel, we, we remember her. Must hurry, must hurry, before the airborne units get to the LBC. Okay, 
She's acting really weird, and if you notice in her group, there's a Lich and a Succubus. Um... Yeah, you're acting strange. You're acting... She went reported missing after uh, fighting General Varland. And she has to get to Baron. And she see, keeps talking about a guardian statue. She almost seems possessed. Possibly, yep, you nailed it right on the head, Khan. The Demon Gate of Elbasim is a guardian statue of the north that protects us by uh, protecting from invasion of the Bolzom forces. Okay, so they've got a statue. So if the statue is destroyed, basically God is in danger. Uh. So now what's going to happen through the fight is now we've got Spiriel and her forces, which aren't going to do anything. And notice how she's got the power undies, which gives her an increased counter, I think, which that'll play in later. And then she's also got a heavy halberd. Uh, and then the succubus and the lich. But she's also got her white lords, which were her elite units uh, that we saw get off the boat when we first met her. The white lords are going to engage these guys because for some odd reason they're going to fight each other. Uh, instead of turning around and fighting me and letting Despirio walk away. Uh, so now they're going to take out one of the battalions. So we'll only have two battalions to deal with. We can try to fight the White Lords if we make it there in time, based off of their movement, but the question is, why would you really want to do that? It's... not worth it. I mean, they're extra XP, and they're a little bit hardier than the Kaiser Guards, but... Yeah. So now they're going to sit here and beat the crap out of each other. which means it's just going to take even longer for this battle because now we've got to wait for the bad guys to beat the crap out of the other bad guys before we can go and beat the crap out of the bad guys. Wait. <laughs> what? Uh, and then we've got... The fight after this is even better for that sort of thing. Like any standard knight infantry unit, they have access to a critical attack. Which really does next to nothing. Like, they're just gonna stand there, for the most part, and get in my way. And then we will kill them brutally. Why? Because I'm done putting up with their shit. There is a hidden item on this map, too. Uh, I'll point that out when I get to it. Or I can point it out during the next turn. Since the, there's so many freaking Kaiser Guards, and they all have the same agility, it's everyone's taking turns in turn. And notice that the Kaiser Guard aren't going to attack Spiro's units. Like, okay, you've been attacked. Engage the AI. But apparently the game doesn't do that. And in in theory, it's not possible whatsoever. You could uh, make it to Spiriel before she gets there. Um, here's the hidden item. Search here. And you'll find a large mithril. And yeah, I've sent Dontarius out in the front, but I'm it's sword wielding units. So I'm not really worried about them. He's fine. The megaloaders will provide a bit of a threat to Eldar, because she does count as flying. So you want to be careful about that. But I've also got defense bonus from the land effect, so I'm not too worried about that group there. 
Like, really, why have you guys not decided to fight back? It will forever be a mystery. But yeah, in theory you could get to Spiriel and try to stop her, but it's just not... You would have to power level... for hours in order to do that. You'd have to be at least level 10 promoted to... not... have any of the other mon creatures be a threat even if they ganged up on you, and to be able to kill them and still get out and then still be able to deal with Spiriel, so it's, it's just not possible. We would like to think that it is. I mean, maybe with some serious hacking and Game Shark cheating, it would be possible, but... Otherwise, no. Our fight with Spiriel doesn't start till later. And then it becomes a massive fight with Spiriel. And Imperial Light goes going after Symbios, and one thing is we're going to take a little bit more damage because we haven't promoted, because remember, promotion counts as an instant level up uh, with a, a change in stats, but the whole reason why we're not promoting is to make sure we don't suffer any unnecessary damage, which I'm suffering anyway, and chances are that Megaloader is going to go in and attack Symbios. Hopefully it won't kill him. So maybe I moved my force a little too hastily. Oh, nope. Now he can't reach Symbios. So that's good. The AI screwed itself over with that one. So it's going to attack Julian. And it does crap for damage. Okay, I don't know why I was worried about that. And Obright can go in for the attack with his hand axe. And missed. Thank you, Obright. And Spiriel moves forward again. More dialogue. Spiriel army is in our sights. Order, sir. Please give us an order. So he's ordering them not to fight. So instead of them getting involved beforehand, <laughs> they're doing nothing now. All right, let's uh let's start kicking the crap out of these guys, shall we? Two experience points gained for damaging a mega loader. I'm a little overleveled at this point. I I may feel no, we don't want to use the spear. We want to use the halberd. Prepare to die. I love prepare to die. The voice acting in this game is so campy, but I love that voice acting. I just love that phrase. And inconsequential vampire bats appear once you get too close. Hey, look, there's a very large section of bad guys. Oh, nicely clustered together there. Wonder what happens if I were to shock the shit out of them. <laughs> and Maskerin goes on the offensive and just wipes them out. One death, two major casualties. Alright, um... Heal Julian. And we use Grace to heal Symbios. Since they decided to be targets. And Eldar can come in. And probably not kill him. In fact, the opposite of killing him. Thank you, Eldar. See, I don't know how people 
level Eldar up to be useful. I just I don't see how it works. I've I've never never gotten that. And Julian takes out a Megaloader. Well, at least uh, Eldar's a little safer. And the White Lords are just going to keep ripping apart the Kazer Guard, and that one decided to defend, finally. Only delays the inevitable, though, Kaiser Guard. Yeah, this is just really weird watching them beat the crap out of each other like this. And then watching the AI decide which other AI members it's going to destroy, it's like... It's like watching a computer play chess against itself. How many White Lords are there? Too many. And... Symbios for the kill! Which will cause him to level, because he had 99. El hey, some friendship with Eldar! Fantastic! Because Eldar needs a friend. And heal Symbios, which puts Grace in danger, but I'm really not worried about it. Like, not in the least bit worried about it, honestly. Because I can make them want to deal with other people. Like this. Or I can just kill them. Because that's what's going to happen. Yep, that's... Now, in all honesty, I should probably do this fight again. Just for level up purposes. Because there's only so many of these fights that you can actually grind on because because of how this game is done with being very story driven but not having the exploration aspects that Shining Force 2 had all of the fights are story fights so like I kind of wanted to promote everyone before the next fight but that may not happen We'll see how it goes. I'm, I'm not sure. And Obright comes in. Uh, where is Obright's axe? Why does he only have a hand axe? Did I leave? Did I get rid of a normal axe? I've got to look around. I may have sold his axe by mistake. Yeah, I think I did. Oh well, it's only for one battle. Hey, we can stand here and get Symbios and Eldar's friendship bonus and maybe have a chance of doing some decent damage. Actually, that wasn't half bad. And Spiriel makes another push for the, the bridge. And Noon. Freeze level 1. And I'll probably call this video here, because I mean... Killed the Kaser Guard. We've basically taken out the entire 1st Battalion. Except for that one knight that's over there. So yeah, I'll go ahead and end this episode here, and I will see you all in our next installment. So till then, later everyone.